Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir and welcome to another one of these Ring Fitness 30 Day Challenge videos. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've done two videos on this before. I'll put a link to both of them down in the description box or you can click the I that will appear in the top corner to go to the playlist. But basically, I have been playing this game, Ring Fit Adventure, which is right up here, this game here. I've been playing this game now for over 60 days, two months, and been tracking my progress and my weight loss during those days to see if this this game is a viable exercise solution and so far the results have been pretty promising. So this video is all about how much weight you can lose or at least I can lose playing this game for a full 90 days with no breaks at least an hour every day every single day for 90 days. It sounds like a lot and it is. Three months is a lot longer than you think it is especially when you have something you have to do every single day. Believe me I know. But all in all playing ring fitness has actually been pretty fun. It's been pretty great. At this point I've lost quite a lot of weight so I'm really curious to see on if that's going to keep going. If it's going to slow down if maybe I'm gonna develop issues with this game or maybe I'll grow to love it even more I don't know but we're gonna find out together so if you did watch the last video then you know that as of day 61 I'm currently at 191.2 pounds now that's still a lot heavier than I would like but considering I started this challenge at 216.4 I feel like I'm doing pretty good and I'm definitely feeling a lot better I can definitely feel that I'm in a lot better shape than I was before and to get real with you guys for a minute it here um, being at this weight that I'm at now is probably the first time I've really been comfortable in my own skin in a while like I've never been really happy with my weight and it just kept going up and up as my time to do things like exercise dwindled and my stress levels increased but you know this is probably the first time I've been feeling pretty good and that's great a lot of people don't talk about like the mental benefits the positive benefits that something like exercising and weight loss can have but they're definitely there and they're definitely a key factor in it as well so so base rules for this again for the next 30 days I will be playing this game for one hour a day every single day during this time I will not be doing any crazy diets or crash dieting I'm basically just incorporating this game for at least an hour a day it's generally closer to two hours a day but for at least an hour a day every single day just as a form of exercise just adding it into my life and seeing what results can be achieved I will be eating healthy of course but every now and again I'm still gonna have a slice of pizza because I like to enjoy my life I'm starting from 191.2 pounds and my goal is going to be 180. Having played the game, having seen the message, the positivity it's spreading, I, I'm a little bit more relaxed, I'm a little bit less anxious and intense. I don't know if I'll actually be able to make 180 because 11 pounds is kind of a lot and it definitely has been slowing down and getting harder. But I'm gonna do my absolute best here and we'll see what happens, right? And also I know, like I, I'm, I'm confident enough in myself and I'm happy enough with my current weight that even if I don't make it all the way to 180, I will lose weight, I will be getting in better shape and the journey itself is going to be rewarding you know what I mean so even if I don't quite make it there I I'm not gonna be upset or anything I'd be super psyched if I do make it there but I also understand that you know if I don't well I'll get there eventually so yeah guys that's just about all the lead-up I can really do here we pretty much have to jump into this head first like I've been doing so without further ado you know how this works cue some variation on the Rocky music go Alright guys, well it wouldn't be one of my Ring Fit videos if I don't jump in slightly at some point or another, so this is going to be that point. And I'm just jumping in here because I just beat the bonus world, which is the thing you unlock for actually beating the game. And I know in the last video I talked a little bit about how I wasn't sure how it was going to end or all of that stuff. Well, to be fair, it ended extremely anticlimactically, if that's a word. It just kind of did the same thing as it did in the actual ending, except this time Drago is a little bit more upbeat and less nasty. Although 
Although even he was kind of upbeat in the actual ending, because he was like, I'm sorry, let's be friends, but it was just more or less the same thing. He still became evil, he still fought the same thing. There wasn't really anything special about it. And then I unlocked the final bonus world, which on this day here, I'm actually about to go and try out for the first time. I just wanted to jump in and say, I beat the bonus worlds and there's really nothing special about them. So mystery solved. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the working out. Alright guys, well there we go, that's another 30 day challenge in the bag. That's working out using Ring Fit Adventure for the Nintendo Switch every day, every single day for 30 days without a break for one hour a day or more, usually about two hours, but one hour plus a day. So if you guys remember at the very beginning of this video, I had a goal weight set for the end of this challenge, which was 180 pounds. So why don't we go and see if we reach that goal. Yeah. All right, guys. So as you can see, we crushed it. My starting weight was 191.2 pounds. My goal weight was 180 pounds even. At the end of another 30 days, making this a combined total of 90 days that I've been doing Ring Fit Challenge, I am at 179.4. That's a loss of 11.8 pounds over the last 30 days. Means I'm still averaging more than 10 pounds lost a month, which is like massive and more than I'm personally ever really expecting, but still, that's awesome. I finally met one of my goals and crushed it. So that means over the last 90 days, starting from day one and going all the way to now, which is the morning of day 91, I have lost a total of 37 pounds in about three months. 37 pounds, that's really more than I could ever have hoped for. And this has been going really well so far. <laughs> Again, throughout all this, I wasn't crash dieting or doing any crazy diets. I've been eating healthy, as healthy as I could. And I definitely feel like this is the month where I really, really got into the swing of it, where like almost every single meal I had every single day was healthy. And I feel like that definitely helped with the weight loss process just as much as the exercise. And as you guys saw when I interrupted the montage earlier, I did beat the bonus worlds and I started the final bonus worlds, which is again It's the same worlds just a little bit more stripped down and each world is a little bit more difficult The monsters are more difficult the challenges are I think a little bit more difficult now One of the cool things that you unlock for beating the bonus worlds is you unlock level 4 fit skills The thing with the level 4 fit skills is that first of all they have a zero recharge time with zero recharge It means if you see a yellow enemy you can spam that yellow tech technique over and over and over. It felt like a really nice reward for having put in all that work was just now you can just use whatever techniques you want whenever you want. And in the same vein of thought, they've all been equalized in terms of damage. 
because before certain techniques would do less damage depending more or less on how strenuous the activity was. Well now, if you have an attack that only hits one monster, they all do 1000 damage across the board, regardless of how difficult that technique is for you to pull off as an exercise. Now something that I feel like I really need to address in this video because it happened probably about three times during this month, and it was the first time I really felt it, was the concept of a plateau. Because that's something, it's general knowledge, but we have to talk about it because it happened and the game actually offers some solutions that work to it. But when you exercise, when you work out, it's completely normal for at a certain point your weight loss and like your fitness gains to kind of level out and stop. This is what we call a plateau. Your body just becomes used to the exercises you're doing. It becomes used to the abuse, if you will, and it just kind of nothing really visibly happens. You might still be gaining a bit of muscle, losing a tiny bit of weight, but it, it really, everything slows down to a crawl. So this actually happened to me at the very start of the video, where I was around 191, the weight went up, then it went slightly down, and it just kind of held there, and it was really tough to break through. Then around the middle of the montage, it also held again, somewhere around 184, 185, and then now I'm at a third plateau where it's holding at 179, where I've been at this number for a week, despite my best efforts. Now the advice that the game gives you is that when this happens, mix it up, do a bunch of different exercises, different techniques, and try and keep yourself motivated and exercise in ways that you haven't before so that muscles and things that you haven't been using get used and that will kind of help you break through the plateau and this is completely true the only way you're gonna get past this plateau is with hard work and I gotta say with the game giving you those level 4 skills equalizing all of them so they all do the same damage as each other and also have zero recharge time this really facilitated that for me because now I didn't have to pick certain skills based on the amount of damage they would do I could just pick whatever I want and do it every single turn and that is really what helped me break through the first two plateaus and will hopefully help me break through the one that I'm on currently. Now another thing that's worth talking about is 100% completing the game because I am slowly working my way towards that. So there's various things you have to do to 100% complete this game and every time you fully complete a section you get a star on your menu next to that to say hey you finished this. There's making smoothies, there's buying all the different clothing options which are holy crap they are so expensive and then finally there's also the top Titles, which every time you reach a certain milestone, for example, do a thousand squats or do a thousand overhead presses or whatever, you will get a title. And there are 281 titles in the game, I do believe. And again, unlocking the level four exercises where you can do them whenever you want really helps you kind of work your way through these because there's some exercises that you just, you would not have done because, you know, they weren't as effective or they took too long or whatever. So reaching the level four skills really, really makes a big difference in being able to 100% complete the game. Although, just be aware if you're gonna try and 100% it like I am, there's several in there that are really gonna be tough. And going for these titles also really shed a light on something that I feel like is one of the worst parts of the game, like the worst optimized, and that's the mini games. Now to get the corresponding titles, you of course have to get S ranks on the hardest versions of all these mini games. The problem with a lot of these mini games is that they last for a fairly long time, and you're constantly using the ring controller, and as you play it gets more and more misaligned, meaning you're going to eventually mess up without actually messing up, like the game is not going to pick up what you're doing correctly. And so from a completionist point of view, this gets super frustrating on some of these mini games. like I'll show a few of them here that are very poorly optimized. It kind of sucked going for a lot of those S ranks on the mini game. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. So where do we go from here? Well, I touched on this in the last video, but as of right now, as of when I'm recording this, I mean... Pretty much all of us are still more or less trapped indoors, like we're not really allowed to go outside. So stopping the challenge here at just 90 days kind of feels like not a really smart idea. I mean, getting rid of my one source of exercise is just not really intelligent. So I'm definitely going to keep this challenge going for 120 days, which is so much longer than I ever planned on doing when I first started this video series. I figured 60 days was max, probably only 30 days, and now I'm going all the way to 100 120 days. But, to be honest, the game is fun, it's probably the most fun I've ever had exercising regularly, and I have been seeing some pretty great progress. I have definitely gotten way better into shape, like it's night and day. So overall, it's been fun and it's been working, so I'm gonna keep at it. 
There will be another video coming up in 30 days about my 120 day challenge. But yeah, guys, that pretty much does it. I hope you found this video informative. If you're thinking about getting Ring Fit Adventure for yourself, well, hopefully now you know some of the pitfalls or some of the advantages to doing it. If you have any questions about anything I said or covered in the video or my opinions or just, just want to talk, definitely leave it down in the comments below. And yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying this adventure, this journey with me. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There will be a part four coming out approximately a month after this video went live, so definitely stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, if you're looking for more content to watch, why not check out these two videos here by yours truly. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Take care.